Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to delete your old WordPress revisions, your post revisions, your page revisions, all the above, and I'm gonna tell you if this will speed up your website, if you should do this, how to do this. So if you're ready for the tutorial, let's get on into it. All right, so the WordPress website that we're gonna be working with is my personal website, tonyflorida.com. So what we're gonna do first is go into our admin dashboard and go down to plugins, which is right here, and add a new plugin. And the plugin we're gonna install is called WP-Sweep. So go ahead and type that in. And we want the one by Lester here, Lester Chan, so install that. And when it's done installing, we can activate it. And this plugin is what's gonna allow us to delete the old uh, post revisions. So once that's installed, we can go to tools, and you'll see down here now we have a sweep option. And I have on this website with, you know, right around 100 posts, 1,400 revisions. So according to them, that's taking up 54% of the size of the database, or maybe of the size of all the posts, uh, all that data in there. So we can go ahead and click on sweep, or since there's all these other things that we can get rid of, like the drafts, the, the caches in the post meta, um, all these spam comments, I have 546 spam comments, um, everything here. We can either individually click on all of them or down here at the bottom, there is an option to sweep all. That's what we're gonna be doing, but before we do that, I wanna show you, I wanna prove to you and kinda quantify how much this is gonna help your WordPress website in terms of storage space. So um, we'll just use me as an example here. What we're gonna do is go into our website via SSH, so SSH root at my domain name, tonyflorida.com. And when we're in here, I'm gonna open up a MySQL command prompt and just go over here to my cheat sheet and copy a command, a MySQL query, that's gonna tell us how big our database is. So enter, and it says that our database is 29.8 megabytes in size, and this is the database that we're interested in, the WordPress database. So we now know how big our database is before the sweep. Let's go ahead and sweep and we'll see how much it helps with the size of our database. So we're sweeping as we speak, and when that's done, we should see some type of confirmation here that it's finished. And one more, there we go. So if you look back up through here, we got all these green indicators, meaning that those, um, those options were cleaned up. So now, we can go uh, back to our terminal window and rerun that same query on the MySQL database. And we'll see before it was 29.8 megabytes. Now we're down to 13 megabytes. So over half of the size of the database was reduced. Over half of the size of the database was just post revisions and all that other crap, like spam comments and whatnot. Um, so that's great. Like if, especially for a lot of hosting providers, you're limited by the amount of storage space that you can have. So this is a good thing to do to just get rid of all those post revisions, something that you're probably not gonna go back and use in the future. Um, I'm gonna show you how to limit the amount of post revisions in a second. But first I wanna answer the question that I um, I kind of alluded to in the beginning of this video, which is does deleting these post revisions make your website faster? Will it make your website faster? And the surprising answer to a lot of people is no. And that's that's a, it's not a hard no, but in most cases it's a no because WordPress is smart enough to only query the database and get the content, get the data for the particular post that you're interested in. It's not gonna go back through all the old post revision histories and sort through them to find yours. It's just gonna go directly to the, um, the current post revision, the published one. And that, that's a simplification of how it actually works in reality, but that's, that's in essence um, the answer to that whole question is no, it's not gonna make your website faster. But what it will do and what you just saw that it does is um, it takes up a lot of space. So by deleting all those WordPress revision, post revisions, page revisions, um, you save a lot of space. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and teach you or show you how to limit the amount of post revisions or maybe even completely eliminate them altogether. So in order to do that, um, you will either need to get a plugin for this and uh, I'll have a plugin link below 
or we can do it on the command line if you have access via SSH. So um, if we go to the location of our website, it's going to be for me at var www, is it HTML, and hit enter. And then in here you'll see all of our WordPress files. Okay, the one we're particularly interested in is the wp-config file. So if we just want to edit that in whatever editor, I'm going to use Vim here. And um, I'm just going to go down to the last line in this file and add one single configuration option here. And I'm going to copy it over here and paste it over here. And it is basically defining this variable, I guess in this case a constant, WP underscore post underscore revisions. And the number associated with that right now is 10. So this will allow me to have up to 10 post revisions per post. Okay, if you want something lower, you can make it a five, you can make it a, a 50 if you want it to be higher. Um, also, if you wanted to have no post revisions, you can obviously do zero, or you can type in false, not false, false with an F, false for um, no post revisions. So up to you what you want to pick. I'll go ahead and type zero here. And you know, if we go back into our WordPress um, dashboard, admin dashboard, and go to our posts, you'll see that we still have the posts there. We still have the published posts. There's just no revision. So here's like uh, one of my posts, my, my latest post it looks like. And this one, um, it's still here. All the contents here. It's just when you update it or save it or change it, you won't have this version versus the next version. You know, so I hope that was some value for you guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below about, you know, deleting post revisions or limiting post revisions and um, about the fact that it, you know, we learned that it does not, in most cases, speed up your website, but it does reduce the size of your website, um, in my case, significantly because I had a ton of post revisions. So, uh, guys, give me, a, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more WordPress tips like this. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.